If you're planning a trip to Lisbon and need an itinerary for a week trip but don't like listening to any of that extra fluff, this is the video for you. In just six minutes, I'll share the perfect six-day itinerary to get a taste of everything the Lisbon area has to offer. Start off getting to know Lisbon at the Central Praça de Comercio. Walk to the Lisbon Cathedral and then take tram 28 up to the Graça area. We did an audio tour, but you could explore by yourself as well. Some of the top sites include the National Pantheon, the San Vicente de Fora Monastery, the Overlook and Convent of Graça, the Santa Lucia Overlook, and all the tile-covered buildings in between. After the Santa Lucia Overlook, we took the bus to the Praça de Figuera and walked up to the Carmo Convent. This roofless church was damaged during the 1755 earthquake, but is now a museum and unique tourist attraction. From here, you could walk back down to the Bahia area, but we decided to take the Santa Justa lift to check out the hype. Riding down, the wait is much shorter than riding up, only about 10 minutes, so it was convenient to use, but it wasn't really worth waiting any longer. Then go back to the Praça de Comercio for views of the Tagus River at sunset. Take the tram or bus to Belém first thing in the morning to visit the Geronimos Monastery right as it opens. This is one of the most popular attractions in Lisbon and now requires a time ticket to help with crowds. Even on a busy Sunday morning, the line was long but the crowds inside weren't too bad. Then head over to Pastéis de Belém for their famous custard tarts and lunch. You really can't miss these when in Belém. Cross under the street and walk along the Tagus River and admire the Monument to the Discoveries and the Belém Tower. If you feel like paying extra or if you got the Lisboa card, you can go inside, but the line to get inside the Belém Tower was super long, so we just enjoyed the views from the outside. Next, take a bus to the Aqueduct of Aguas Libres. A little out of the way, this free viewpoint is unique and crowd-free, which is perfect after visiting crowded Belém. Then end your day with chorizo pan at a merendera and more custard tarts from Time Out Market. Take the train from the Josio station 40 minutes to Sintra. Put your luggage in a locker and walk or take the bus to the Quinta de Regalera. Make sure you get off at the Sintra station and not the Portela station since that will put you closer to the Quinta. It's about a 20 minute walk or you can take the bus, however buses can be extremely crowded and depending on when you arrive there may be long waits. You do need a timed entry ticket and the first entrance time is at 10 a.m. The most popular attraction is the initiation well and there can also be long lines so head that way first to enjoy before the crowds arrive. Make sure to take your time exploring the entire park because there's so much more to see here besides just the well and the main palace. Then take a bus or rideshare to the Montserrat Palace, a less visited stop. The English Romantic Palace is breathtaking and the grounds with flowers, greenery, waterfalls, and even ruins of a church are fun to explore as well. End the day in the historic Sintra Center and see the exterior of the Sintra National Palace and the free gardens before checking into your accommodation. We stayed in San Pedro de Penaferim, just a five minute drive from the Sintra Historic Center. It cost about five euros in rideshare, as it was much more affordable than staying in Sintra. Get up bright and early to visit the magical Pena Palace first thing in the morning. This is the most recognizable palace in Sintra and also requires a time ticket. Make sure you purchase a ticket for the palace and park, otherwise you won't be able to get near the palace at all. The park has plenty to see as well, so after exploring the interior and exterior of the palace, you can walk through the park. We went up to the High Cross and climbed a bit for an incredible view of the palace, and you can also see the lakes and the chalet. Unfortunately, we missed those two because we left and I didn't realize we couldn't re-enter. Pack a lunch since food options are limited, but the vending machines in the buildings where you enter near the palace have affordable options that work in a pinch. Then walk over to the Moorish Castle for incredible views of Sintra and the surrounding area. While you can take the bus up to this area, we found rideshare to be cheaper for two people. Just don't plan on walking unless you really like hiking and have the time. If you're not tired of walking yet, you can walk down the trail and visit the Via Sassetti. Once back in Sintra, check out the shops and don't miss the soft and fluffy traveseros at Casa Piriquita. And if it's still open, get dinner at our favorite restaurant we ate at in Sintra, Tasca Tinka. For this day, a rental car is best, so pick up your car and drive to Arabila Natural Park. This incredible protected area has so much to do and incredible beaches. But first up is a dolphin watching tour from Cecimbra or Setubal. 
If you don't want to rent a car, you can take a train to Setúbal from Lisbon. We saw tons of dolphins and had an amazing time on our tour. Then hiked to the Lapa de Santa Margarita, a small shrine in a cave with picturesque views of the ocean. You can relax and swim at the beautiful Galapos Beach just down the road and take in the view from the road above before ending the day touring the Levera Tile Factory. You can return the rental car or keep it another day to have more options. Our plan was to visit Casques in the morning and drive out along the coast to Cabo Roja, Praia de Ursa, and Azenjos do Mar. Due to bad weather making us change plans, we no longer had a car, so we took a rideshare out to Azenjos do Mar for about 10 euros from Sintra, and then visited the Sintra National Palace, which was beautiful, but at this point I was a little tired of palaces. But since it's mostly indoors, it makes for a good backup plan if it's rainy. And there you are, six days in Lisbon area in six minutes. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more travel videos. We're headed to Guatemala next.